We're at Canberra Parliament House today and this Sunday, International Men's Day, to give the largest and first visual presentation of suicide in Australia's history. Possibly the world's history, this would be the largest visual presentation. One of these shoes is one soul, a man or a boy that took their own life last year. There's 2,455 shoes behind me. We need to acknowledge that men's suicide is not just mental health. We need to acknowledge situational distress when the three leading reasons for men's ideation is family relationship breakdown, loss of access to children, court and financial reasons. None of those are diagnosable mental health issues and until we can recognise situational distress in men as the main cause of their suicide, nothing changes. We need a Minister for Men's Health and Welfare to start dealing with those three main reasons that men contemplate taking their own life. I see the devastation that alienating behaviours and um, tools like restraining orders and false allegations, I see the impact on an extremely high scale. There's no support and when they do reach out for support they're often judged. You know we're losing like so many men in a week because they're programmed not to speak. It's important to me because I nearly lost my life twice because I was too afraid to speak. We look around and we look how many lives have been lost you know, because men haven't been able to speak. They haven't felt safe, and we need to make men feel safe. When we share our stories, we make it safe for other people to share theirs. You know, how can it not be overwhelming, you know? Um, some of the shoes up there have got photos in them. Some of the kids are so young, you know, that's a brother, father, uncle, son, husband. Uh, it's just crazy, you know, it, it really hits home, and something needs to be done, you know? It's been like this for a long time, these numbers. So something needs to change, you know, and it's, it's okay for men to be broken and for men to hold each other and you know, have a cry and you know, be there for each other. I think there's nothing wrong for it, it's very powerful. We're here today to tell Aaron's story. Aaron took his own life in 2019. We've been unfairly treated by the whole legal system. We were let down as a parent, as a grandparent, even as a, his brothers were let down. The, sis, the whole system let us down. The men need to stick together to fight for their rights. Women's groups do it a lot easier because women stick together easier. But as a mum, we need to put it in our boys' heads that they need to stick together and fight for their rights. Men's groups cannot get funding, but women's groups can get funding very easily. That's why it's important because we've got to stop this. This is a serious issue. 2,455 men every year take their life. That is 2,455 men too many. And we have to try and give them as much financial and mental support uh, and, and family support as, as we can so that we bring the suicide rate back to zero. Thank you so much for all you're doing and Paul and Steve for getting me here today. I can see those shoes on the horizon and it breaks my heart. The importance of having a men's minister is these problems that men are facing in our society go across all portfolios in parliament. It's like I said, family relationship breakdown, loss of access to children, that's court, uh, financial issues. Uh, we need a, a minister that's able to access all parts of parliament and give a representation and give a voice to men, the men that are struggling in our society. I've asked Paul if we could just appreciate and honour a few people here today who have been working tirelessly, tirelessly, tirelessly for men and fathers. Important to give honour where honour is due. Bettina Art 2023, in recognition of your lifetime service and sacrifice for the men and families of Australia. That's great. Thank you. For someone who's been out there for decades trying to get people to take notice of male suicide, it's really encouraging to see so many other people getting so involved. International Men's Day, Parliament House, Canberra, Honour where honour is due, 2023. Senator Pauline Hanson, in recognition of your lifetime service and sacrifice for the men and families of Australia. So thank you, Pauline. We honour you, and I've got to smile through my tears if I can. Do you know, I've actually received a lot of awards over the years since I first entered the parliament in 1996. But nothing I think is precious as this, and it did bring a tear to my eye as well. I walked amongst the shoes, and even that in itself, it's an absolute crying shame this has happened. 
In Australia, we have ministers for Aboriginal affairs, our LGBTQI community, a minister for women. If we are all about equality, why don't we have a minister for men? At the end of the day, men's suicide has been 70% of all suicides for 40 years in Australia. You know, people have been calling for this minister for men for 40 years. I dead said nothing's going to stop me. I feel this. This is my life blood and I won't stop until we get a Minister for Men's Health and Welfare and Situational Distress is recognised as men's suicide.